How much of protein is too much? In the Times of India, yesterday, I read this article. Dr. Rajina Shaheen, medical director of the association, highlighted that she encounters many patients in their mid-twenties consuming excessive protein up to 125 grams when they only need 60 to 80 grams based on this level of activity. This excess can harm kidneys and trigger inflammation, leading to autoimmune diseases. What's your opinion? In today's world, everyone's a nutritionist everyone's a medical doctor, everyone knows about their health really better. With so many videos coming out about eat more protein, Indian diet is deficient in protein, there are two Indias that exist. An India that over consumes protein, specifically they're talking about excessive consumption of animal protein raises saturated fat and cholesterol intake, contributing to heart disease, atherosclerosis and kidney damage. A plant-based diet comes to you for your rescue. That is why we want physicians to be better trained in nutrition and incorporate it as a primary line of treatment. Many lifestyle diseases and myths plaguing our healthcare system could be prevented. We're talking about a plant-based diet, plant-based proteins. Now, as a nutritionist, I tend to agree and I tend to disagree. You see, whilst a medical symposium is saying that we are eating too much of protein, I also as a nutritionist have seen athletes not consuming enough of protein. So number one, when you decide to plan your protein levels, if you you're using my Ryan Fernando AI diet planning app, my app will automatically calculate it for you based on your weight. Now, if you give your muscle and your fat percentage, the accuracy of planning protein is even better. The benchmark rule is one gram per kg body weight if you are a sedentary person. However, if you go to the gym, maybe 1.2, 1.4 is how I would calculate it as a sports nutritionist. But many people today to lose weight or gain a lot of muscle quickly consume two to three grams of protein per kg body weight which means if you're a 70 kg person or a 50 kg female you're consuming more than 100 grams of protein now you can consume this amount of protein provided if you have come to me i'll ask you to do a blood test and i'll look at your liver and kidney function in your liver function i will look at sgpt sgot and ggt not to mention i'll look at your cholesterol profile and in the kidney profile i'll look at serum creatine your uric acid levels serum albumin serum global now, when I look at all of these and if I find any unhealthy parameters, so I've given a link below for you to click called nutritionchoice.in. It's a place where I've curated all the blood tests that a nutritionist requires to plan your protein requirement. But before you plan how many grams of protein you require, get this blood test done. Why? Because I like to say that you don't want to put something extra into your body without knowing what could be the benefits or what could be the detriments. So this symposium brought out some highlights on autoimmune disorders wherein the excessive proteins are creating a gut dysbiosis, meaning the bacteria in your gut start having a battle or a jagada. And this is true when I do the microbiome testing in our clinics, where we see in athletes with high protein diets, certain carbohydrate bacteria are very low and certain toxic bacteria are also very high. Now, at that point, when you're young and you're an athlete taking these copious amounts of protein, up to the age of about 24, 25, the body adjusts. Most 25 years of age, your body sometimes doesn't cooperate with you. So my advice to anybody out there planning to take a protein supplement, who has a gym membership, who's looking to change their muscle percentage, drop their fat percentage, whilst you're going and investing in a gym, whilst you're investing in these protein powder dabbas, don't try and self-prescribe or take the advice of a gym trainer to guide you on the protein requirement. What I would recommend you to do is first do the blood test. If disposable income is there, spend on a microbiome test and third, do a genetic test. If you can't do any of these, I would simply ask you, please download my Ryan Fernando diet planning app, which will help you achieve a higher protein consumption from natural foods first. And then if you're not yet meeting your requirement, because as you're working out, you're losing fat percentage, but muscle is not growing, you could contact one of my nutritionists at the Quan Nutrition Clinic, who is a fitness dietitian or a medical dietitian. Remember, at the end of the day, if your doctor says eat more protein, go to a nutritionist. If your trainer says eat more protein, go to a nutritionist. If your physio says you need more collagen to heal your joints and ligaments, come to a nutritionist because when you eat correctly, you will realize you get the best benefits from food. But if you self-prescribe, you could injure your body. You have only one body in your life. You can replace your house, you can replace your car, you can replace your laptop, you can replace
replace your mobile phone but you are born with this one body you will go with this one body and feeding it correctly is my one statement to the entire world your body is the most expensive real estate don't live in it like a tenant become a landlord get tested come to us at quan nutrition clinics